welcome back um, uh, to those of you who have uh, uh, were attending the conference <coughs> earlier today and a warm welcome to those of you who are joining us for the first time for the awards ceremony. Uh, we'll be announcing the winners and runners up of the 2021 NBN Awards for Wildlife Calling. Welcome. <clears throat> just before I start, something on a, a, a rather sad note, I just wanted to mention um, before we look at um, the, the, the awards, um, I'd like to mention Douglas Boys. Uh, Douglas was last year's winner um, at the NBN Newcomer Award, but very sadly, he died at the end of September. Um, which has shocked the recording world. Douglas was a young man uh, who had already contributed more to nature conservation than many of us strive to achieve in a full lifetime. Um, he'll be sorely missed. There's some lovely fulsome tributes to Douglas uh, online. Um, I was reading one last night on the UK Centre for Ecology and Hydrology, if you want to have a look at that. Um, it's well worth having a look, see what all the wonderful things that Douglas had done. Our thoughts and condolences go out to Douglas's family and friends. Um, so this evening, um, we'll be announcing the award winners and runners up. Um, uh, and we will probably be also uh, naming uh, other nominees as well and giving details about individuals. Um, the caliber has, as always, been uh, of extremely high standards. It's really inspirational to to spend uh, quite often a grey Sunday afternoon looking through the nominations. I mean, it, it's it, when you first look at it, all of them, you think, oh, Christ, so I've got to plough through these. But as soon as you start reading, you think, wow, this is brilliant. I'm so happy to be doing this. Uh, and choosing the winners is, is marginal between a lot of them and not always easy, uh, I can assure you. Um, we'll also be announcing the winner of the 2021 John Sawyer NBN Open Data Award. This award, unlike the others, is not open to public nomination, but is given to a member of the National Biodiversity Network Trust who has made an outstanding contribution in terms of collecting and sharing wildlife data openly to educate and inform. Uh, because of the COVID pandemic, we clearly can't hand out prizes and certificates at the moment, but once the staff get back into the office, we'll be able to forward those to winners and runners up. Um, just a request uh, to the runners up and winners, if they could please turn your cameras on when you're announced, uh, when, when, when I'm announcing and or, uh, John Norton's announcing your name. So if we could see you, that would be much appreciated. Um, winners uh, will be invited to say a few words if they would like, not compulsory, but always good to hear from people if possible. Uh, and also at the end of the ceremony, we'd like to take some screenshots of the winners and runners up. So please stay online after the award ceremony has ended. So without further ado, I'd like to hand over to our patron, uh, Sir John Norton, uh, to announce the first three awards. Thank you very much, Neil. Uh, exciting, isn't it? <laughs> so uh, the, the, this year, uh, so the, I'm going to run through the first three awards. The first one is the 2021 Award for Wildlife Recording Marine. Uh, there were five people nominated in the Wildlife Recording Marine category, and they were Paul Blanchard from County Antrim. Uh, is one of the deep, the sea deep project's most dedicated volunteer shark egg case searchers. He is the greatest contributor in the North Coast region. Kate Locke from Pembrokeshire has been working to coordinate sea search activities for 25 years, generating her own records as well as supporting less experienced coordinators and volunteers. Bridget O'Connor from the Northern Ireland is, 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 is Shore is sure NI volunteer and has submitted by far the most records across all taxa found in the intertidal zone. That's 455 since September 2020. Bridget also actively verifies others' records. Diane Westwood from Norfolk has submitted over 18,000 records to the Shark Trust. She collects, hydrates, photographs and records shark and ray egg cases from beaches in West Norfolk and beyond. 
Phil Wilkinson from Northern Ireland is a sea search volunteer who has kept his local group enthused and recording during the pandemic and returns a huge number of observation forms. Very like the, like the Oscars. <laughs> and the runner up uh, in the 2021 MBN Awards for Wildlife Recording Marine is one of the Sea Deep Project's most dedicated shark and egg case searches uh, for this Ulster Wildlife Project, monitoring the presence of Elasmobranch species in Northern Irish waters. He has submitted 981 egg case records to the project since 2019, by far the most submissions by any single volunteer. The runner-up in the 2021 MBN Awards for Wildlife Recording Marine, sponsored by Habitat Aid, Bird Photographer of the Year, the Michael Hoppen Gallery and William Collins is Paul Blanchard. Now to the winner. The winner has been working to coordinate sea search activities for 25 years, generating her own records, as well as supporting less experienced coordinators and volunteers. The winner's immense knowledge and experience of her local area, Pembrokeshire, makes her the go-to person to liaise with, to liaise with other organisations, stakeholders and policymakers. Being an employee of Natural Resources Wales in her professional capacity puts the winner in the unique position of having a foot in both camps to maximise the impact of sea search through her job and her network relationships. The winner of the 2021 MBN Award for Wildlife Recording Marine, sponsored by Habitat Aid, the Michael Hoppen Gallery and William Collins is Kate Locke. Kate, would you like to say a few words? Yes, thank you so much. Um, it was a real surprise to one get nominated and then to win. Um, I, as I said, I've been involved in Sea Search, um, coordinating it for 25 years now here in West Wales, and um, it's just been a joy. I've met so many fantastic people. Um, I've trained lots of volunteers um, to take part in the project, and um, just. You know, I, I always say every dive, you never know what you're going to see and what you're going to find. So it just stays exciting all the time. Every time we dip our heads underwater, um, you know, you, you're going to have a new surprise. And even when the visibility, um, which is obviously really affects us, um, is bad, we, we just potter down and we just, you know, get to torches out and our little cameras and we've always got stuff we can find. So it's an exciting world to be in, the marine world, and Sea Search is just a wonderful project and it's a great project to share. So thank you very much for um, for for this. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Congratulations. The next one is the 2021 NBN Award for Wildlife Recording Terrestrial. There were seven nominations for this award this year. The first is Stephen Allain from Canterbury, and he's been working since 2012 to fill gaps in the distribution of amphibians and reptiles in Cambridgeshire, and has recently begun similar initiatives throughout neighbouring Bedfordshire and Norfolk. Harry Appleyard from Milton Keynes has been studying and recording wildlife for 13 years. In 2016, he discovered the first known colony of willed, willow emerald damselflies in Buckinghamshire and continues to record their local expansion as a result of climate change. Amanda Cogan Barber from Merseyside has thrown herself into the annual City Nature Challenge for the last three years. This year, she submitted an astonishing 3,500 records, coming first in the UK and fourth in the world, and the world's highest ranked female observer in the, nature, in the City Nature Challenge. Andrew Graham from Wales has been the Butterfly Conservation County Moth and Butterfly Recorder for VC48 for over 20 years. He has been responsible for many new county records in Marianoth and in other North Welsh vice counties. Ryan Mitchell from Oxford is a diligent young entomologist specialising in many groups within Diptera, helping to fill many gaps in under-recorded and difficult to identify species and finding new county records in Belfast, Sussex and Oxfordshire. 
tiny, tiny recorder. I had to read that twice from Southern England. He's only 43 millimeters tall and made of Lego. He has a huge following of 24,000 on Facebook and enthuses people about the smaller and lesser known wildlife of the British Isles. Leslie Sale is not made of Lego, is from Wakefield and is a volunteer for RSPB at Bempton in East Yorkshire. She has been recording seabird numbers, ringing sparrow chicks and has posted many beautiful images for puffins, gannets, kittymocks and fulmers and their chicks on Facebook. The runner-up in the 2021 MBM Awards for Wildlife Recording Terrestrial uses iNaturalist daily and records everything, animals, birds, plants and insects and marine life, amounting to hundreds of observations a month. She has made over 19,000 observations on iNaturalist in the last three years alone, with thousands still to be uploaded. Her records have also reached the MBN Atlas via the Merseyside Biobank. This nominee has an unbelievably infectious enthusiasm for nature and recording it, and has used every opportunity to, uh, to encourage others to join in. The runner-up in the 2021 MBM Award for Wildlife Recording Terrestrial, sponsored by Habitat Aid, Bird Photographer of the Year, the Mitchell Hoppen Gallery and William Collins is Amanda Coggan Barber. The winner of the 2021 MBN Award for Wildlife Recording Terrestrial is a person who has been county, re, county butterfly and moth recorder for various North Wales vice counties for over 20 years, helping to determine specimens and verify tens of thousands of records. He is also has a pivotal role in collating and sharing records from all North Wales vice counties through a key website. The winner also makes an annual submission of records to butterfly conservation, other national schemes and societies, and to the local environmental records centre, COFNOD, where he has submitted over 580,000 records, over half a million. The winner's main interests are Lepidoptera, but his expertise is also now includes true flies, diptera, true bugs, hemiptera, and hymenoptera, which are all under recorded in North Wales thereby filling a vital gap. The winner of the 2021 MBN Award for Wildlife Recording, Terrestrial, sponsored by Habitat Aid, the Michael Hoppen Gallery and William Collins is Andrew Graham. Congratulations, Graham. Andrew, would you like to say a few words? No, he's not there. Of course he's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> when people have spells, read the instructions. Because <laughs> my instructions actually say that Andrew can't attend uh, because of a poor internet connection. So Roy Tapping from Comfod, who nominated Andrew, will say a few words on Andrew's behalf. I'm sorry about that, Roy. Uh, my apologies. Say a few words on Andrew's behalf. Yeah, it's, it's one of those time-honoured things, isn't it, to be able to uh, have an award but not attend. It's the sort of thing you see at the Oscars all the time, I'm sure. So anyway, yes, um, I'd like to say a big, big thank you from Andrew. Um, I spoke to him this week and uh, he's, he's quite he's quite a humble chap, really, Andrew. Um, even though he's, he's such an immense guy, um, does so much for recording in our area. And, uh, and I, I think, you know, humbleness... Uh, as, as is partly why he might not attend here today, but but mainly it's because he lives completely off grid in North Wales and relies just on a dial up broadband or dial up internet connection to even even answer his emails. So he said he wouldn't be able to do this. Yeah, Andrew is probably the most skillful recorder of Lepidoptera and lots of other species in, in our area. And I'm, I'm really, really pleased that he has this sort of unique character of being able to um, provide really good feedback and help to others and encouragement, all of those things which are fabulous attributes for being a vice county recorder. And, um, you know, you, you mentioned the number of records that Andrew collates. I mean, he's, he's designed a website and he's put it up there so that people can see the, the, the wealth of information. Um, I think Andrew's main, main capacity is just 
being able there to be there when to answer questions whenever whenever needed and we've certainly found him right from the start um, of setting up the record center in north wales as one of our biggest encouragers and guiders and all sorts of things so i think he's a really really um, worthy winner of this award and i'd just like to thank um, the mbn again for considering his award um, his nomination and and um and making the winner of this I'm, I'm sure he'd be really pleased and, and we'll make sure that he uh, he knows about it after this and that we also allow uh, the local North Wales recording community to know about Andrew's board as well which is really important so thank you again thank you very much for those kind words Roy uh, 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 about Andrew that was very appropriate thank you the um the, the final group I'm, I'm going to announce is the is the group award for 2021. The finalists were four four not four four groups nominated. The first was the Croxteth Park Volunteer Group from Liverpool, and they've made over two and a half thousand recordings via iNaturalist in the last two years, covering a wide range of species and providing a new and ever evolving record of biodiversity in and around Croxteth. Marden Wildlife from Kent started a couple of months before the first COVID lockdown in 2020 and produced a hardback book of their wildlife recording during lockdown, including 300 plus species of moths. Sid Valley Biodiversity Group from Sidmouth in Devon, established only a year ago, has 24 active members and 250 supporters. They have set up a month-by-month -month wildflower survey in 20 sites across the valley. And the Wilts and Barks Canal Trust has nearly 3,000 members and is the only canal trust in England with a published interactive map showing their existing, biodiver showing their existing biodiversity along the entire length of the canal route. The runner-up in the 2021 MBN Group Award is fully engaged in recording and offering a variety of activities such as wildlife recording walks, moth trapping nights and bat walks. The group has partnered for the last three years with the Merse Merseyside Biobank and participated in the City Nature Challenge, winning an Eco Environment Award in September 2020. It has recently volunteered to undertake a water vole survey in partnership with the People's Trust for Endangered Species and has been surveying ponds for newts and frogs in partnership with Merseyside Environmental Advisory Service. Additionally, a number of group members have undergone training to become river guardians as part of an initiative led by Mersey Rivers Trust. The runner up in the 2021 MBN Group Awards, sponsored by Habitat Aid, Bird Photographer of the Year, and the Mitel Hoppen Gallery, is Croxteth Park Volunteer Group. And the winner for the MBN Group Award 2021 only came into the being in January 2020. Previously, its members have been surveying insects and ringing surveying birds for five years with two local farmers and produced annual reports. It's fortunate in having members with significant expertise, for example, appropriately licensed to handle dormice and schedule one birds relevant postgraduate qualifications, the practical experience to advise on most taxa and a National Nature Reserve warden amongst their members. It is hard to overstate how profoundly this group has influenced the area. Their recording encompasses all taxa and is enthusing more farmers to take positive action to increase biodiversity on their land with an, with an ambitious network of new countryside stewardship agreements in place which aim to deliver landscape scale enhancement of biodiversity. The winner for the 2021 Group Award, sponsored by Field Studies Council, Bird Photographer of the Year and the Michael Hoppen Gallery, is Marden Wildlife. 
Well done, Marden Wildlife. And I understand that Ray Morris is representing Marden Wildlife. So please, Ray, will you say a few words uh, about your group and your award? You're muted, Ray, I think. You should be able to speak now, Ray. You've been unmuted and she can share your camera as well. Nope. There's nothing coming through, Ray. I can see you, but I can't hear you. Now? There we are. You're oh, on. Right. OK. Well, it really is a huge honour to receive this award on behalf of Marden Wildlife. And it's also an opportunity to ask myself how it's come about, because before COVID, recording had sort of simmered gently, as it were, for about 15 years with bird surveys and bird ringing taking place regularly. But then the unexpected opportunity presented by the COVID lockdown meant that people had time to really look at what we have around us. And we began to think about what we could do to look after our surroundings. And so the village group with common interests started develop and flourish. Um, but the strength of the group has been in its mixture of members, expert and beginner alike. And, as Lisa said in her introduction this morning about MBN, we're incredibly fortunate in having local people with expertise in plants, animals and fungi who enjoy sharing their knowledge in such a way that they encourage people to ask just the simplest of questions such as what's this and what's that doing? So gradually people with just a normal interest in what's around them are becoming involved, including children of primary and secondary school age. But equally gratifying has been the discovery and recording of scarce and even nationally rare species of plants and insects, uh, and especially moths, as we joke that Marden now has more moth traps per household than any other village in Kent. <laughs> but the value of our long-term recording has recently come to the fore with the recognition that our area still has significant populations of farmland birds, not least being turtle doves and yellow hammers. And sharing our bird and plant and insect data with local farmers is in turn encouraging them to become enthusiastic conservationists as well as food producers. So that's our next challenge, working with them, Natural England, Kent Wildlife Trust and local taxon groups and to throw the NBN net even wider around the village. And this award will help us do it. Thank you. Thank you very much. That, that, that's great. So I will now hand back. Uh, I've lost my clap. I can't. It's disappeared. So I can't I can't clap you. But congratulations. I'm now going to hand back to Neil, who will do the three further uh, awards. Neil, over to you. Thank you, John. Um, yes, next one, the MBN Newcomer Award 2021. Uh, three nominations. There's a bit of a theme running through these you might pick out. Leah Cox from Bushmills County Antrim, a volunteer with the Northern Ireland Butterfly Verification Committee, helping to streamline and modernise the verification for approximately 10 to 15,000 butterfly records a year. Sam Pitt Miller from Belfast County Antrim is a zoology student and is the bird representative for the Exeter University Ecological Society. He is training students on how to safely carry out nest records to increase surveying participation amongst young people. Dakota Reed from Belfast, County Antrim, has loved wildlife from a young age. She is a committed BTO member and has carried out wildlife surveys and invertebrates transects for the RSPB Northern Ireland. The runner-up in the MBN Newcomer Awards 2021 is a member of the Butterfly Verification Committee in Northern Ireland. She has received training in I recalled moth and butterfly identification. She's a very active volunteer for butterfly conservation in Northern Ireland and contributes to its events, Facebook group, surveying and verification activities. In addition to verifying approximately 10 to 15,000 butterfly records a year, she is also digitising paper records. The runner-up of the 2021 NBN Newcomer Award, sponsored by Opticom, William Collins, Michael Hoppen Gallery and British Wildlife Magazine, is Leah Cox. Okay. 
congratulations, Nia. Now to the winner. The winner of the 2021 MBN Newcomer Award is especially keen to record birds, Lepidoptera and bees, but is also working to improve knowledge of more groups that are under recorded. This includes recording species of spider in Northern Ireland, such as the goose or weaver, and helping to map the spread of species such as the great spotted woodpecker, the tree bumblebee and Blair's shoulder knot moth. She also promotes wildlife and inspires others by posting many sightings on social media. The winner has created blogs, appeared on panel discussions and is an articulate voice for young people in the environment sector. She's also active in advocacy and lobbying for policy change. The winner of the 2021 NBN Newcomer Award sponsored by Optocron, Bird Photographer of the Year, Michael Hoffman Gallery and William Collins is Dakota Reed. Congratulations, Dakota. I don't know if you wanted to say a few words, Dakota. Uh, yes, can you hear me? Yes, I certainly can. Yeah, um, thank you so much. Um, this genuinely means a lot. Um, recording is just, it's something that I do all the time because I really enjoy it. It's really helped me through the pandemic. And um, it's sort of without fanfare, it's just something that I do every day and getting recognition um, for this is really, really special. Um, I just wanted to say a couple of quick thank yous. Um, I wanted to thank my family because they've been really supportive of me um, doing this, especially my mum who's sitting next to me today, who bought me my first field guide um, and has taken me to so many places that um, I've dragged her out to to do recording. And she's really just inspired in me a love of wildlife. Also to Don Passion for Ulster, from Ulster Wildlife for um, nominating me and generally just encouraging me all the time with my recording. And um, of course, to all the amazing recorders online who have supported me. I have come on so far with my identification skills, thanks to the time that people, you know, especially on sites such as Twitter have given me to help me with my identification. And I'm really, really grateful for that because I have learned so much and I can't wait to continue with my recording journey and um, continue to improve and hopefully contribute to what we know about wildlife um, in the UK and Ireland. Fantastic. Lovely words. Thank you very much, Dakota. Congratulations. Um, moving on to the NBN Young Persons Award. Um, this year, just two separate nominations. Uh, Izzy Fry, a 16 year old from Wiltshire, and Alfred Dudley Ward, an 18 year old from West Sussex. The runner up of the NBN Young Persons Award has been volunteering since he was 14 years old, first for the National Trust and since 2018 for Botany Bay Conservancy. He was particularly interested in the life in the, in the chalk gill stream and the presence of wild brown trout and started to help with general conservation work. He was trained by the South Down National Park Authority to survey the streams for the Riverfly Partnership, not only making his important contribution, but also inspiring others of his generation to engage and collaborate. The runner up of the 2021 NBN Young Persons Award sponsored by Opticron, William Collins, NHBS and Michael Hoppen Gallery is Alfred Dudley Ward. I don't know if Alfred's there. If you are, congratulations, Alfred. And now to the winner of the NBN Young Persons Award 2021. This teenager is a young ambassador for the Wiltshire Wildlife Trust and also co-founded a local nature group called Tisbury Young Nature Watch. She inspires and encourages other young people in the area to have a love for nature and learn how to conserve and protect it. She organises events such as owl pellet dissections, water vole surveys and young photographers days. She volunteers for the BTO's bird ringing scheme and volunteers at the country's wildlife hospital. She also has her own nature blog with a following of nearly 7,000 on Instagram. The winner of 2021 NBN Young Persons Award, sponsored by Opticron, Bird Photographer of the Year, Michael Hoppen Gallery and William Collins, Don't know if do we have Izzy. I, my notes say we might have a few words from Izzy. Maybe not. Oh, Izzy. Hi. Hi can you hear me? 